Systemic lupus erythematosus affects over 1 million individuals in the United States. It's seen mostly in females at a ratio of 10 to 1, as in males. And it is considered a chronic autoimmune disorder. The body produces autoantibodies that causes immune complexes to accumulate in the body, which over time attacks oneself as though it was foreign. Systemic lupus erythematosus appears in women of childbearing age predominantly, but in general it appears during the teenage years and middle age. Lupus is abbreviated SLE and the word lupus comes from the Latin word that means fox. I am not sure how it is associated with a fox, but what I do know is that there are several risk factors such as genetics, hormones, and environment that makes one susceptible to the condition. There are several symptoms that are exhibited by someone that has lupus. I will break them down into three main categories. One, skin, two, joints, and three, systemic. This is how you tell if you have lupus. One, the skin develops different types of rashes. One that is classic is the malar rash, also called a butterfly rash. There can also be discoid rashes, um, alopecia or hair loss. Individuals become photosensitive. There may be ulceration in the mouth and nostrils. Next type of involvement for lupus is polyarthritis. Two or more joints are involved. It's usually symmetrical, meaning that you have it on both. Let's say if it's your wrist, both wrists um, will be affected. Um, there is inflammatory condition. Most common symptoms is pain and stiffness and swelling, tenderness and joint effusion. As mentioned before, lupus is a systemic condition and therefore it involves the entire body. So the third way that lupus affects the body is by affecting the organs of the body. For example, the eyes can be affected, not only the outer area of the, the eye, but the eye itself can be damaged by lupus. Organs such as the heart can develop pericarditis, or endocarditis. The lungs can become inflamed and as a result pleuritis develops. The brain can become affected by a condition called cerebritis. This is inflammation of the cerebrum. Renal failure can develop if the patient is affected by nephritis, which is inflammation of the nephrons in the kidneys. Peripheral neuropathy is another condition that can be developed from SLE.
the extremities are affected by numbness and tingling. In closing, here are some of the diagnostic tests used to determine if someone has lupus. ANA, also called anti-nuclear antibody, anti-Smith, anti-double-stranded DNA, RPR, RBC count, WBC counts, and platelet counts. The specialist or doctor that takes care of patients with lupus is a rheumatologist. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave your comments below. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.